If you've ever flown on an airplane, you know the indignities it involves. One of them is that you're expected to present a photo ID to board a plane. This is our effort to prevent terrorism and other crimes. Apparently, for the past six months, TSA has been waiving that to help illegal immigrants released from ICE custody fly all over the United States at public expense, even before their asylum is approved. Terry Churchy is a former FBI Deputy Assistant Director of Counterterrorism and joins us tonight. Ms. Churchy, thanks very much for coming on. So, Hi, Tucker. If you showed up at Washington National Airport or any airport in America and said, look, I don't have an ID and I don't have any money, but I'd like the taxpayer to finance a flight across the country, how would they respond? Well, I think they'd respond by telling me I wasn't going anywhere and I wasn't getting on the plane. But uh, <laughs> like so many other things, like so many other things, and uh, I mean, my wife uh, has been stopped four times now in the last four times we've flown, so she has a lot to say about this. But uh, security and, and law enforcement professionals are going to tell you, Tucker, that any time you carve out exceptions to all the security rules and to all the secur security technology, then you're going to eventually have trouble. And one of these days, we'll obviously have trouble. And uh, we, we're living in a society now where we have judges and politicians who sit behind walls and fences and uh, have guards and gates and guns to protect them. But uh, now we're deciding that we can put people on we don't even know about. They haven't been vetted. We don't know them. They haven't gotten to the process or to that part of the process in America yet where we know anything about them, and yet we're violating our own rules, rules that were put into effect because 3,000 people were killed in the World Trade Center and we're still fighting the war on terror. So it's really hard to imagine, hard to figure out that the very government responsible for keeping us safe actually isn't. So we don't know their identities necessarily. And this, I mean, you were, spent your whole life in law enforcement. Knowing about somebody, isn't that the first step to assessing the threat that person may pose? Absolutely, and that's the reason for so many uh, of the procedures that have been put in place and so honored for so many years. But now because of immigration and because politicians can't reach decisions about how to deal with this and mounting numbers of people coming across our border, they've decided just get these people out of here. I mean, judges get in the way. They don't uh, seem to care about this problem either. They, they certainly don't care about the security part of it. And uh, so we have a big problem, which is only going to get bigger because no one seems to want to care about the ramifications and consequences of this. Terrorists are experts in something very important, and that is immediately spotting our vulnerabilities. And a concern I've had now for two or three years is that you also see uh, the kind of the dynamics out there and have seen for some time. Terrorist organizations are acting much more like intelligence agencies. They yeah. do surveillance. They do a lot of work to get ready for what they want to do. And our vulnerabilities show up. And uh, you can bet they know them long before you and I did. And uh, they knew about this problem long before we did. And uh, they're going to take advantage of it one day. And then what are we going to do? Are we going to have uh, uh, the Democratic Party want to impeach the president because he didn't protect the country? I mean, uh, this, this just gets more unimaginable all the time. And... Um, it's hard to know where it's going to end. Yeah, it's nihilism. They just don't care. Terry Turchie, it's an honor to have you on. It always is. Thank you. Thanks, Tucker.